Tony Evans once said, before you check out, check up. Good morning, everyone. In a moment, we're going to be reminded of two of the greatest requirements that we need to have when we're waiting on God. But before we go into that, say it with me. I am a child of God. I am loved by God. And I am the light of the world. The first big requirement for waiting on the Lord is this. It's trusting in Him while we wait. Oftentimes we say that we trust in God, but if we truly trust in God, we'll also trust in His timing. We need to trust while we wait. We hear over and over God's timing is perfect. The question now is do you trust in His timing? See, when we truly wait on the Lord, there's a principle of blessing attached to it. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So wait on the Lord today. The reality is that we often assume that if something doesn't happen right away, it will never happen. But that's not the case. I want to remind you today that God is a God of unlimited power and resources. God doesn't want to hold anything back from you, but He truly knows what's best and He's aware of all of your needs. Trusting and waiting on God's timing is one of the hardest things to do in following Him. It doesn't feel good at all, but these are the times where we put our faith over our feelings because it takes faith to wait. Remember now, there's nothing too hard for God, and He loves you more than you could ever imagine. So the first requirement in waiting on the Lord is trusting Him while you wait. The second requirement in waiting on the Lord is praising Him while you wait. In my own life, I found that some of the most profound moments of peace came during a time of praising the Lord in a waiting season. Trusting the Lord comes from courage of walking by faith and not by sight. Praising the Lord while waiting comes from the joy of the Lord being our strength. Have you ever been in a moment while you were driving and singing songs of praise the Lord? You get caught up in His glory. You may not even remember the drive once you actually arrived to your destination. See, when we worship God in praise and truly trust, not in our feelings, but in who God is and who we are in Christ, a supernatural joy and peace comes with it. It's time to pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you right now in the midst of our waiting. God, we exalt you because you are the Most High. Forgive us for trying once again to control things that are not actually in our control. Forgive us for trying to do your job when our job is to trust in you. I thank you that during this waiting process, you are strengthening our faith and helping us to become more like you. Holy Spirit, we invite you into the time of waiting and ask for your joy your peace and self-control. We choose to worship you in faith despite our circumstance. And we thank you in advance for what's to come. And we pray that in whatever we do, we would do it for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. And if you need any extra prayer, please comment below. And as a community, let's pray for one another and build each other up because it's always a good time to pray. Stay blessed.